Today we're going to be taking a look at the Whatnot app and I'm going to purchase a $500 mystery box just to see if they're legit. And if you guys did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! So Whatnot is an app that has slowly made its way into the shoe game. They originally started with trading cards and collectible items. And with everybody knowing that sneakers have value as well, it makes sense that they added the sneaker category to the app. So with that, there comes a lot of questions. And the first one is, are they legit? And how does it even work? So I'm going to pull open the app so you guys can kind of navigate through it with me real quick, just so you have a better basis and understanding on how it functions and just the overall format of the app and everything like that. So right here, as you can see, the categories, it's all kind of based in different categories you got pokemon cards funko pops vintage clothing baseball cards a bunch of different collectible items that you guys all know you have to go through a rigorous process to become a verified seller through the whatnot app which we can talk about in another video but basically these are trusted sources that can guarantee the authenticity of things and because of that they are able to sell on this app now when we go to the streetwear section same thing you got some live events coming up right here so if there's no current live events that are actually active right now that you can click on it shows you hey so and so is going live at 4 30 and then you can actually follow that particular person and see every time that they go live so now going to the sneakers let's see we got we got one live event right here limited supply let's click on this and see what they're talking about what's going on they got a personalized box right here let me but turn I've been it up a lot so much but i'm gonna buy it anyway <laughs> yo guys i'm gonna tell you a little story so my dumb ass went christmas shopping yesterday and i couldn't find his phone runner and i went to a store called clicks exclusive and garden state mall they had a size a phone runner for 375 I bought it. Kick exclusive. Well, you want to call it kick exclusive, kick inclusive. I don't give a fuck. You know what? You get the hit. But limited supply has it for 300. I'm tight. And I can't get a refund. Size no charge back? You don't fuck with us, bro. I need a size eight, not a size seven. So as you can see right here, this is a real live thing going on right now. These look like some guys I need to purchase something from. So they have a $500 mystery box and that's how much I wanted to spend. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this and make sure that this order goes through. So now we are good to go. We got the order in and now all we got to do is wait and see if the shoes are legit or not and what they even send us. So I've been navigating on this app for about a month now, just kind of checking it out understanding the flow and everything like that and seeing who's selling and looking at the in-hand looks of all the sneakers and I have no worries when it comes to things being legit or not. They don't just let anybody become a seller on there. So with that, that definitely gives me a lot of confidence. But at the same time, I'm still unsure what they're going to send me in general. Hopefully it's not no drunk shoes. Hopefully you get something solid. So I'm going to check back in with you guys in a couple days or however long it is. And I'll let you guys know how long it took. Several days later. All right, you guys, the package has arrived and we have to go over a couple things first. Based on the size of this box, there has to be at least two to three pairs of shoes in here. So because of that, I'm going to be actually giving you guys a chance to win one of the pairs of shoes from this box. So stick around until the end of the video to find out all the rules and regulations on how to enter. So I put this order in on Tuesday, the 21st of December. Obviously, we had Christmas over this time. So that means there's probably going to be a little bit of delay. And my package just arrived today, Tuesday, the 28th. So just based off of that, the turnaround time was pretty solid, especially saying that there was Christmas in the middle of that. So it took about a week for me to get my shoes once I placed my order. The overall cost was $500. $127 after shipping and fees and everything like that and I don't have tax here in Oregon so it could potentially cost you just a little bit more depending on where you live so with all that being said let's crack this box open and see what we got bro I'm low-key excited I don't really do the mystery box thing so let's get into it oh so the first thing that I see in the box right here it looks like a note it says we tried to find you something you might not have Hopefully you enjoy. Also, there is an unreleased limited tea on us, limited supply. So I actually did do a little bit of research about these guys after I ended up putting the order in. But basically, this is a consignment shop out of Jersey. They definitely look like they're legit. I've never heard of them before, but again, that doesn't mean anything. They look like they have a good following and a good support group behind them. And there's no red flags when it comes to me checking out their business. And if this mystery box goes well, we might have to do another one. But if not, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be my first and last time shopping with them. So let's get rid of this note and check out this tea real quick quick see what they got oh shit. bro this is an older jordan box all right don't don't let me get my hopes up too soon let me just open up this tea real quick bro this is crazy uh, i'm not the mystery box type of guy sorry you guys 
Okay, so you got the limited supply tee right here with the Super Mario vibes right here on there. Might have to rock this soon, sometime in a, new, in a future video, you know what I'm saying? Show some love, show some support. Hey, and they got the size correct, the extra large. And if anybody else out there in this world wanna send me a shirt, I'm a size extra large. So they're already off to a good start. They threw a shirt in there for me and it's in my size. Now let's see what we got for these shoes because bro, I'm seeing a box from <laughs> way back in the day. Now, I don't mean land before time or anything, but <laughs> these definitely bring back some nostalgic vibes already just looking at the box. Okay, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Should I move this out the way or should I just open it up and or should I just lift the lid? Like, how should I do this? I don't know, I'm gonna just crack the lid open like this and see what we got. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bro. Bro, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me, let me take a moment real quick. Let me take a moment and just take this out and then we're gonna get to the next one because I know there's, yep, see, there's another box in there. Hold on, we go, let me just take a moment. This right here, you guys, is the Laser Air Jordan 5. Now, you guys remember seeing the Laser 4 pack with the black and the white pair and everything like that? The Laser 5 was a sleeper, and this is actually a sneaker that I used to have in my collection for, I'm talking about, since it dropped till like three or four years ago. Like, I literally had this shoe for years. I got rid of this pair because I took the money to go purchase my second property and I was like, one day I'll get them back, one day I'll get them back, you know, in due time. This is a shoe that probably will never retro again. And look at this, bro. This came completely full circle. You guys, oh my God. I'm so happy right now. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Honestly, at this point, like whatever I get next, I don't even care. And y'all not getting these, so whatever is next in the box, y'all can have those. But these right here, these is definitely staying. Wait, actually, hold on. Let me take that back. Let me take that back because if it's a more valuable shoe in there than this one, nah, it's fine. <laughs> I don't care, honestly. This is a more sentimental thing. But if it is a more valuable shoe, we're gonna have to reconsider that one. Nah, I keep my word. I keep my word. I'm gonna keep these. Cause I, these right here, I needed these back in my collection. So this pair in particular, looks like it was already sitting on a shelf in the store. And I actually see a price tag on the bottom right here. And it says $400 size 13. So we're just gonna assume that's the value. Based off of the StockX numbers, the shoe sold for $550 recently in the past. You have offers for $275. They're asking $400. So I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them some respect with their price. And we're gonna stay with a solid $400, maybe $350. Now we'll, we'll call it $400. We'll stay with the $400. We're looking good right now. Okay, so now we are on to the next shoe. This is a newer Jordan box. What is this, like a Jordan 9 or something? I don't know. What do we have with this retro? With this, this is the old school Jordan box. Let me pull it out real quick. Get this big box out the way. What is inside this box? What could it be? What could it be? I'm gonna assume it's a Jordan 9. I'm gonna say like the white and navy 9. Did they come with this box? That's like not too expensive, right? I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's 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 read the size tag and see what it is. Okay, size 13, Air Jordan 7, retro white varsity pro. Oh, this is Flint 7, for sure. Definitely Flint 7s. Okay, so this ain't bad. I just, I know, I know these don't go for much. I get it, I get it. If you guys haven't seen the last video I just uploaded it yesterday, make sure you go check that out because this is a very unappreciated shoe. And this actually brings me back to my high school nostalgic memories as well because these dropped back in 2006 and now they got a retro now in 2021. But either way, this is a very solid shoe. I'm assuming they have a sticker on the bottom of these. I know they're not wrapped up. They are currently asking $210 for this sneaker. I know that these don't go for as much. We're gonna check the StockX numbers and see on this one. I think that might be a little bit overpriced, but let's see what it's looking like online. So they're currently listed for $189 on StockX. Last sale was $155. And as we know, consignment shops can charge a little bit more money because of the convenience and a lot of other factors. So I understand why they have the price point at $210. Retail was 190 bucks. So 185, I think is real reasonable and solid. And we're gonna go with that. So that puts me up $58 off my initial cost but there is one thing that we cannot forget to mention this shoe right here the sentimental value priceless simply because this is a dead stock laser 5 in immaculate condition looking good the midsoles are intact everything is just perfect with this shoe i'm so happy <laughs> i'm so happy 
happy I got these back, bro. So like I said, I would keep my word either way if the shoe was higher or lower in value. We have the second sneaker being the Flint Air Jordan 7, and now this is your chance to win it. What you're gonna need to do is download the WhatNot app and make sure that you sign up with the special link that I have linked down below in the description for you guys and also pinned in the comment section. That link will take you over to the WhatNot app, get you completely set up, and once you make your first purchase, it will give you an additional $10 credit towards your first purchase. Everyone that has signed up and made a successful purchase on the WhatNot app, whether it may be a cheaper item like a toy or a t-shirt or a pair of shoes or whatever it may be, once you have done that, I'll be able to track all the people that have signed up and then from there, I'll randomly select a name and announce the winner on Instagram. And after that, on January 7th, I will be announcing the winner of the raffle. So overall, this was definitely a success. Shout out to Limited Supply. I don't know you guys, but if you guys see this video, I appreciate y'all and we definitely gonna have to do a mystery box in the future. And again, if you guys wanna win the Flint 7s, don't forget to sign up with the link down below. That'll get you all set up on the WhatNot app. I am enjoying it. I'm looking forward to purchasing more things from this app. It's really dope and exciting to see they have this kind of live stream bidding auction type thing when everything's going on like this. It's a new perspective for the shoe game. And I definitely think this app has a bright future. So don't be surprised if you see me copping more kicks off of here. And I ain't gonna lie, this little mystery stuff, it is kind of fun. So with all that being said, I'll see you guys in another video. All right, y'all, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.